To remove the sample holder from the Hitachi H7600 TEM, first support the stage with your left hand and pull the rod straight out. Then rotate slightly clockwise to position B. You can now pull the rod out and rotate counterclockwise to position A. You will hear the click of an internal valve. Keep turning until you feel it stop. Then switch the switch from evac to air. Wait about 10 seconds and then gently pull the rod straight out from the stage, keeping your thumb or finger in contact with the outside. Placing a sample grid into the sample holder. With a pair of strong forceps, not the grid forceps, pull the retaining spring back until the wire loop slips into its locked position. Gently remove the aluminum retainer with the same forceps and place it on the clean filter paper. Now place your TEM grid into the grid hole, sample side up, and tap the rod if necessary to position the grid properly. Do not push the grid with forceps. Replace the aluminum retainer, being sure that the angled end fits under the lip. Support the TEM rod with the heel of your left hand. Make sure your hand touches outside of the o-ring. Gently pull back on the retaining spring and at the same time lift the retaining loop with a second pair of forceps. Allow the retaining loop to slowly slide toward the aluminum retainer to rest against the edge. Inspect the aluminum retainer carefully. Tap the edges to make sure everything is correctly in place. To place the sample rod back into the TEM column, push the rod straight into the stage until it stops. You will hear a click. Then flip the switch back to evac and wait until the light turns from red to green. It takes about a minute. Rotate the rod clockwise and allow the rod to slowly enter the stage and come to a rest in position B. Rotate the rod counterclockwise and allow it to slowly enter the column in position C. The sample is now in the electron beam path.